What's going on, you guys? This is your boy, Grand Master Ogre. And today I'm coming to you with a brand new box opening of uh, Yu Gi Oh! Phantom Rage. I've been looking forward to the set for about three to four months now. As soon as I heard that my favorite deck was getting support, you know, uh, Raid Raptors, I was like, yo, this set is gonna be dope. So, um, but before I get started with the set, I just like to, uh, you know, give a little lesson that I have learned lately myself. No matter how hard things may get, there's always the light at the end of the tunnel. Just stay focused on your goals and you will always pull through. Now, enough with the mushy stuff. Let's get into this uh, awesome set. Yeah, I've learned lately that uh, it's good to have like an exacto blade so uh, it's easier to open up the box. So it's not like ridiculous. Alright. Uh, there's a few cards I'm looking forward to in this set. You know, of course, the uh, main bad guy right here, Mr. Arc Rebellion Dragon. That monster is a beast. Um, a lot of cards that other people have been talking about have been um, Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus, which is a one hell of a banger. Um, also, Zoo King Alpha. I think they changed his name in the TCG to, like, Master of Beasts or something like that. Um, but yeah, you know, this feels pretty heavy. Oh, uh, we're, we're guaranteed two, two, um, Secret Rares, four Ultra Rares, uh, Supers are guaranteed. Let's go into our first, uh, pack right here. Let's see what we get. Like, this set is... Just ridiculous. It's phenomenal. Alright, gluttonous rep. I'm not gonna pronounce that. Arcane of Right Reading, Raiders, Unbreakable Mind, UA Locker Room. I know the UA. What the? What? Yo, you guys, go ahead and like the video. What? Comment, subscribe. This is. Alright, first pack. I can't even breathe right now. This is just, this is just nuts. This is just, I have a witness, by the way, you guys. I have a witness. But anyways, the Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. This card is what the Phantom Knights strategy needed. Th you can discard one card, send one Phantom Knights card from your deck to the graveyard, except Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. If another Phantom Knights card in your graveyard is banished, while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effect of the Phantom Knights of Torn Scales once per turn. This card is like exactly what the Phantom Knight strategy needed. This is like an insane card right here. I can't believe this is the car first card I pulled. Wow, I'm already <laughs> satisfied with this box. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Alright, second pack. There's a few archetypes I'm looking forward to building in here, like the mutant archetype looks really cool. Um, also the data escape is pretty nice as well. UA locker room, okay. Yeah, I was uh, talking about this, I know that the UAs are getting some nice support in this set. Same thing with the FAs, um, deck profile coming up. Ooh, Infernoble Knight, Captain Oliver, nice super rare. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, once I figure out this Phantom... I mean, not Phantom Knights. Infernoble Knights. I'll, I'll go ahead and, um... You know, give you guys an update video. Oh. Phantom Knights of uh, Stained Greaves. Another good one. Nice. Okay. Nice common. Yeah, Infernoble Knight deck profile coming up. Once I figure it out. You know, the hits on the ban list really uh, threw a wrench in my plans, for sure. Alright. Alright, let's see. Dual Avatar Defeating Evil. Banquet of Millions. That's a good card. Hey, Mutant. GB88. Nice. Not too bad. Virtual World Dragon Long Long. Oh, Tri Brigade Nerval, nice. I'm looking forward to building Tri Brigades as well. Another like fantastic archetype that is coming out in this set right here. So it's like 
Wow, I can't believe. Let's let's just take a look at this. Let's just. Oh wait, that's not even it. Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just look at the magnificence of this. This is just. You know, I'm gonna take this out of the book of Team Samurai X. Ah, yes. Smell of victory. That's the smell of victory, boys. Wow, that's amazing. Alright, we're promised at least one more secret there. Uh, this is already a godly box opening. This is just nice. Alright. Dogmaticism. Ooh, Mutant Cry. This is a good card right here. This is basically like their um, fusion, like their shadow fusion almost. No, not really. But it's a it's a really good fusion card right here. Oh, here goes our first ultra rare. Okay, Armitile, the Chaos Phantom, Phantasm, Phantom of Fury. Wow, that's a mouthful. Wow, let's just check out this artwork real quick. That's really nice. That's all three um, Sacred Beasts right there. Uriah, Lord of the Seren Flames, blah, blah, blah. this card's name becomes Armital, the Chaos Phantasm while on field. Once per turn during your main phase, you can give control to this card to your opponent. Once per turn during the end phase, if this card's control was changed this turn, banish all cards you control. Then the owner of this card can special summon one Armital Chaos Phantasm from their extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. You know what? This card is dirty. This card is... This card is dirty. You could summon it. Give this to your opponent. When you end your own turn, your opponent has this card, then they have to banish everything that they know and love. This card is dirty. Playing threes, boys. Extravagance. Deck profile coming up. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next... Booster pack. You know, I promise all these deck profiles, but you know what happens? I get high. And I forget. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do drug boys. I get high off of Sympathy's Yu Gi Oh cards. Alright. <laughs> Dual Avatar Feet, Kokoku. Oh. You know, I really like the artwork. That's really clean. Like, with the kimono and everything. You know, I might just play Dual Avatar just because they look cool. Alright. Tri Brigade, Rugal, the Silver Shealer. Shaller. Okay. Nice. I've been waiting for this set as well because I have um, Ancient Warriors. And um, they, they need Tri Brigades. I mean, they're strong on their own, don't get me wrong. Strong rogue deck, but I think... Tri Brigades will bring Ancient Warriors to another level for sure. Alright, let's go off to our next. Geonator Transverser, Mutant Expansion. Okay, Prank Kids, Prank Kids uh, Meow, Meow Mew, whatever. I heard that this was a very strong card for the Prank Kids. This is for my boy Ivan. I owe you this at least, bro. Thanks for everything. Alright, UA... Player manager. Yo, this card is a great common from what I heard. Alright, another Tri Brigade Rugal. Ooh, Virtual Shell Jaja. Okay, nice. Alright, move on to our next. You know what my next uh, secret rare will be? I'm like, I'm just surprised I got one like that was really sought after. It's really cool. Alright. Alright. Okay. Virtual Beast ju Juju for our super. Not bad. Alright. I don't even know what Virtual World do. All I know is that they, they have something to do with like popping cards or banishing cards or something like that. I heard it would be a strong rogue, rogue deck. Alright. Oh, it's Tri Brigade Keras. Pulling a lot of the good Tri Brigade stuff here, you guys. That's nice. Huh. P 
Penguin Brave. They look so brave. Okay. Okay. Mutant Fusion was uh, the card that I think if your opponent activates a card effect that turn, then yeah, you can use one monster from your grave and deck as fusion material. So it's like a pseudo shadow fusion, which is pretty dope. It's like, uh, it's like, oh, you ash me? Ha! Huh. Major mistake. You should ash this one. Come on, you guys. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, okay. Perfect sync, Ayun. That's pretty cool. I really dig these artworks. Look at that. He's like fire punch. Yeah, that's really cool. And she's like lightning kick. Okay. Anyways, off to the next pack. Ooh, Raid Raptor Heal Ego. Finally, some Raid Raptor cards I'm getting here. About time. It's a special summon, level 3. If all monsters you control are Raid Raptor monsters, you can special summon this card from hand. Bam! White Strikes. Done. Alright. Some cool cards. Ooh, here we go. Yes, sir. Raider's Wing. Alright. This card is always treated as a Phantom Knight's card. And Raid Raptor card, which makes me feel like there's some good synergy there. But from what I've seen, it's either or. You don't want to do really both. But anyways, if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can detach one material from your Dark Exceeds monster. Special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effect. No, you can only use this effect of Raider's Wing once per turn. The Exceeds monster whose original attribute is dark and has this card's material gains this effect. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Wait, what? Yeah? Let's go, boys. Let's go. Good ultra rare. That's a good ultra rare. Alright, got two more packs on this side. And then we're off to the next side. Probably with a... Uh, hopefully I get a Starlight Rare. You know what I'm saying? If I get a Starlight Rare... Hell yeah. Okay, Infernity Doom Archfiend, not bad, not bad. I don't know about Infernity, but whatever. Infernity is not too bad. One more pack. Yeah, you know I got another pack on the way in the mail, you guys, so uh look out for that second box opening. Alright, virtual gate Chuchi. Virtual World Gate Chu Chi. Okay, nice. Okay, Heal Ego. Nice. Alright, next pack. Trying to speed this up, you know. I'm already like 14 minutes in almost. Okay, conductor of nefties, not bad. There's a lot of good commons in the set as well. Ooh, joyous mouthies, not bad. I got you, Jefferson. Got you, bro. I know you're building Melfies. I'm not gonna like Melfies, but you know what? That's Yu-Gi-Oh for you, bro. That's Yu-Gi-Oh. Tri Brigade versus Melfies. I mean, Tri Brigade Melfies versus Ancient Warriors Tri Brigade. I wonder which one is better. Oh, UA Liberal Spiker. Actually, I think this is the one that was um, really good. It's a level 4. It's really good. Alright, XZ's Import. Ooh, okay. Never seen this um, before. This is uh, Ultra Rare.
Okay, very nice, very nice. Off to the next. Raid Raptor Heel Eagle, Tribe Gay Oath, Mutant Beast. Okay, this guy is looking pretty beast. Very nice. I'm pulling a whole lot of different cards, but I don't know if I'll be able to complete a full archetype. Maybe after the second box. We'll see. We'll see what happens after the second box. Okay. Here we go. Dual Avatar Feet. Armored Ungio. She got the armor now. She's like, I, after the kimono, now I got sacred armor and shit. That's really cool. I wonder how this archetype works. Alright, next pack. Got that technique, boys. That pack opening technique. Alright. Friend of the Conjurer. Ooh, Rage Raptor Strangolanius, another piece of the puzzle that I need. This card is insane. Let me let me read it to you guys real quick. If you control a dark monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. What? Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except dark monsters. Okay, fair enough. Um, if you control an Xyz monster with a dark Xyz material... Xyz monster is material. You could target one level four Raid Raptor monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Wow. But it negates its effects. You can only use each effect of Raid Raptor Strangolanians once per turn. Well, good thing Raid Raptors are a pure dark deck. That's pretty sinister. This card is one of the, like, best cards with that and Raider's Ring. So that's really cool. I hope they get a Rank of Magic spell. That Rank of Magic is. I'll be, I don't, hell, I'll play that one. Just to try it out. Okay, Tri Brigade Oath, Infernity Conjurer, Inazuma and Anabi, Rock Band, Xeno Guitar. That's cool. One or eight? I think I would take eight. I like eight. Sounds like more. <laughs> Okay. The Avatar Defeating Evil. Prank Kids Meow Meow. Okay, cool. Ooh, Jabbing Panna. That's pretty cool. That panda's. Yo, I got a pack in here that's like upside down. I wonder what that means. Uh, I'll I'll show you guys the pack in a second. It's upside down. I'm telling you. I just lifted up one card and it was upside down. Ooh, secret rare. Virtual world QB. Shen Shen. Nice. Okay. Any card sent from the field to the graveyard is banished instead. What? You can only use each of the following effects of virtual world QB. Shen Shen once per turn. When your opponent declares, well, I mean, when your monster declares an attack, sorry, you can return one banished monster to your owner's graveyard. Um, during the main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you could banish two other monsters from the graveyard with different original types and attributes from each other, especially some of this card from your graveyard. Ew. So it keeps coming back? And it doesn't banish itself? This card is sick. I wonder if I can abuse it somehow. That card is sick. Alright. Anyways, so this is a card that was upside down. I don't know if this is telling me something. Maybe it was just an accident. Maybe it's a starlight rare. Whoops. Let's find out. Maybe this is the pack of destiny. Maybe I have a shot. Do I have a compact? Virtual world Jaja? Gener Geonator Transverser? 
Libero Wheat Spiker, and oh, it's not shiny though. Oh. Gizmet Mikami, the Furious Fang Fortress. I don't even care. It's not a Starlight Rare. Still pulled some goodies in this in this set. Got two more packs. Hopefully I get one more ultra rare at least. Alright. Ooh, here's the ultra rare. Dogmatica Ashion. Well, I don't have a Dogmatica deck, so I don't really care. I guess Cloud does. Got you, bro. Got you, fam. Alright, last and final pack. Let's get it, boys. Let's get it. Okay, Virtual World Hime. Nyan Nyan. It's pretty cool. Like a miniature Gundam almost with a little shield. That's pretty cool. Virtual world, huh? I did pull their secret. Oh, that's it, you guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in with me. Checking out all these cool cards. Here's my two secret rares for the pack. I got another one coming up. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.